amigos, feliz viernes, hoy es viernes, yo soy Rory y estoy contento de estar aquí contigo. La semana pasada, last week, we looked at the regular preterite tense uh, verbs, which are, is one of our past tenses, right? Esta semana we're lo looking at los irregulares del preterito. So, good news and bad news, the, um, you know, the preterite tense isn't too complicated to conjugate, but the bad news is... We do have a healthy number of irregulars. So that's what we're taking a look at today. I want to help you get a handle on how to manage the irregular verbs in the preterite tense. Okay, let's start with algunos ejemplos. ¿Cuándo tuvo usted su última revisión médica? When did you have your last checkup? So tener, tuvo, yes, not following any rules, right? Okay, hace tres años que me revisaron. So three years ago, they, check, they did a checkup on me. Usted puso aquí en su historia, so you put down here on your history, que padece de diabetes, that you've got diabetes, y que usa insulina, and that you use insulin. Ya se inyectó hoy? Did you already inject yourself today? Okay, puso aquí. Puso es irregular, that's poner, doesn't really follow the rules. However, ya se inyectó? Perfect. That's not irregular. Sí, me la puse esta mañana antes de comer. So, yes, me la puse. This is like a fancy way of saying I gave it to myself uh, esta mañana antes de comer, this morning before eating. So, puse. Puse and puso are both uh, the verb poner. So, that's irregular, right? ¿Usted trajo sus otros medicamentos a la clínica hoy? Did you bring your other medications to the clinic today? Traer, there's no J in traer, but there is in the preterite conjugation, right? Bueno, no traje los medicamentos, pero aquí tiene la lista. I didn't bring the meds, but here's my list. Wouldn't that be great? All right, gracias. ¿Quién le dio la receta para morfina? Thanks. Who gave you the morphine uh, prescription? ¿Todavía padece de dolor? So, dio, dar, you can see some irregularidades there. Me la dieron, they gave it to me, en la clínica urgente, at the urgent care clinic, cuando me lastimé la espalda en el trabajo. So, this one follows the rules, right? Me lastimé. When I hurt my back at work. No me duele tanto ahora. It doesn't hurt so bad now. Pero a veces la tomo, sometimes I take it después de un día largo en el trabajo. Sometimes I take it after a long day. Okay, so aquí hay una lista de verbos irregulares en el preterito. Here we've got a list of irregular verbs in the preterite. We've got andar to walk, creer to believe, dar to give, decir to say or tell, estar to be, hacer to do or to make, ir to go, leer to read, oír to hear. These are in italics because they're not irregular in every conjugation. So we'll see that. Poder to be able to and to actually do it and act on it. Poner to put a place. Querer to want and act on it. Okay. Saber is to find out what that action was. Uh, is to find out knowing. Uh, it's if, excuse me. It's focused on the action of learning something, knowing something. Ser to be. Tener to have. Like in the sense of action sense to like receive. Traer to bring and venir to come. Okay, why am I focusing on some of these actions? Because remember, remember last week when we talked about the two different uh, past tenses and that the preterite was our verb tense that um, displays some sort of action or event or something going on. Okay, well, some of these verbs are going to change meaning slightly in the preterite versus imperfect. So here, with these verbs that are going to change meaning, we're focused on the activity part of the verb. Okay, it'll make more sense as we get to imperfect and stuff. Okay, so there's a little bit of a pattern for some of these verbos irregulares. And some of these verbs just have a new stem and then they have a patterned ending. Not all of them, but some of them have this patterned ending. Yo ends in a, tu ends in iste, usted ends in o, nosotros ends in imos, and ustedes, ellos, ellas uh, ends in ieron. So you'll notice if you're looking at these, you'll be like, a, that looks like an ar ending. Yeah, it does. Iste, that looks like an er ir ending. Yeah, it does. O, okay, that looks like an ar ending again. Imos, er ir ending. Ieron, er ir ending. So what's going on is 
these verbs are irregular. These conjugations are irregular. And so it's not consistent AR endings or ERIR endings. It's kind of a mix of the two, depending on who the subject is. And so with these verbs I'm about to show you, we've got just a new stem to the verb. Remember the first half of the verb. And then these patterned endings, okay? Let's take a look. So andar, this is our verb to walk, becomes anduv, anduv. And then we add these endings. Anduve, anduviste, anduvo, anduvimos, and anduvieron. Estar becomes estuv. Estuve, estuviste, estuvo, estuvimos, estuvieron. Hacer becomes ik, or hice, hiciste, hizo, hicimos, hicieron. Okay? We have a little spelling change here so that it sounds like all the others. It has to have that S sound to it. Okay? Poder, pud, pude, pudiste, pudo, pudimos, pudieron. Notice how we're following the patterned endings. We've got a in the ending here, iste in the ending there, o in the ending there, imos, and ieron. Okay? So what we've done is these verbs just have a new stem and then those patterned endings. Poner is pus. Puse, pusiste, puso, pusimos, pusieron. Querer is quis. Quise, quisiste, quiso, quisimos, and quisieron. Saber is sup. Supe, supiste, supo, supimos, and supieron. Tener is tuv. Tuve, tuviste, Tuvo, tuvimos, and tuvieron, okay? And then venir is vin. Vine, viniste, vino, vinimos, and vinieron. All right, so andar to walk. Estar, one of our verbs to be. Hacer, the verb to do. Poder, the verb to be able to. Poner, the verb to put or place. Querer, the verb to want. Saber, the verb to know or find out in this tense. Tener, the verb to have, almost like receiving in this tense. Venir, the verb to come. Okay, We've got a handful of other irregulares that don't fit this pattern of a new stem and then patterned endings. And so let's take a look at these other verbs that don't fit this pattern. Okay, so we've got dar. Dar is going to be di, diste, dio, dimos, and dieron. Okay, dar is our verb to give. I gave, yo di, tu diste, you gave, etc. Okay? Decir. Dije, dijiste, dijo, dijimos, and dijeron. Okay, this one kind of looks like the pattern we had before, but it's different in that it's just dijeron. It's not dijeron. It's just dijeron. Okay? And let's take a look at traer. Traje, trajiste, trajo, trajimos, trajeron. Okay, so these are pretty similar in how they conjugate the endings. They've got the J and then everything else, okay? Ser. Fui, fuiste, fue, fuimos, and fueron. And this one is going to drive you crazy until you get comfortable with context and understanding context of conversations. But here, the verb to go is the exact same as ser. Fui, fuiste, fue, fuimos, and fueron. That's how you conjugate it. So, I was, I went. <laughs> you were, you went. He was, he went. We were, we went. They were, they went. Again, context, if it's like, if the rest of the sentence is to the store, then we know it's went and not was, right? Okay. All right. Now, I have got a special guest who is going to come and share a song with you. It's a bit of a goofy song, but he's a really special guest. So, um, a song with you about the past tense conjugations in the preterite. And it is una canción especial to the tune of Row, Row, Row Your Boat. Welcome, my friend. Hey there, I'm Jimmy Page, uh, lead guitarist in a band, um, classic rock band called uh, Led Zeppelin. And you've, uh, you may not know my name, but you know if you're not like a classic rock junkie, but um, you've definitely heard my music. And, uh, anyway, lead guitarist for Led Zeppelin, and, and uh, I really enjoyed playing songs like Stairway to Heaven and uh, a handful of others that had just tremendous success. Anyway, one year when we were on tour in Spain, 
I needed a Spanish teacher and um, and so I did a little searching and you know back then we didn't have Google uh, so I couldn't just Google Spanish teacher but anyway I looked in the phone book and um, I found um, of course Rory he's like a marketing genius right he's like AAA best Spanish teacher or something like that in the phone book and so anyway I called him up and and we got we go along just fine and um, Anyway, he taught me so much. We had so much fun when I was on tour there in Spain. He helped me a lot with my Spanish. I mean, I wish he partied a little bit more, but, you know, he's kind of like a family guy and stuff. So anyway, uh, we had a great time, and, you know, we're like best friends now, and we have coffee all the time. And, one, you know, just recently we are having coffee, and, and Rory said, hey, Jimmy, uh, you think you could help me out with a little something I'm working on? And so I said, you know, well, what are you doing, Rory? And... Um, he explained the whole project in, you know, online class and um, medical Spanish. You know, I really, really respect the work he's doing. And, and I really encourage you, you know, in your work that you're doing and working on your Spanish and all. And so I, I think it's great. And so I said, yeah, sure, why not? Let's do a song together. And so we spent countless hours and hours in the studio working on this song for you. And, um, you know, it's not a complicated song, but I'm a little bit out of practice you know, I'm mostly retired now and I spend a lot of time on the golf course playing golf. I don't really play guitar anymore. So anyway, you might know so I'm not quite on my game 100%. Anyway, <clears throat> we took all the irregular verbs and um, prayer tense and, and we put them to, in the yo forms. We put them to the tune of row, row, row your boat. And, um, <clears throat> you know, when Rory and I were working on this, we thought, you know, it's not perfect because, um, well, lots of reasons it's not perfect um, but it's not perfect because it, it doesn't really help you with all the subjects and the verbs but it does help you with the yo forms at least and then from there you have an idea of what the at least what the what the base of the verb is going to be and uh, you know it's not helpful in the sense that it doesn't mean anything near row 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 your boat either <laughs> it's totally different I mean it really is meaningless the song but I hope you like it. I worked really hard on it for you. And uh, I'll sing it once or twice and then I'll invite you to join me, all right? Sound like a plan. I think you can do it. Yeah, and it should be really good. Okay, let's give it a try. Here's the beat. Row, row, row your boat gently. Wait, wait, wait. That's English. I need to do it in Spanish. I'm so, so sorry. All right, now in Spanish, it's going to go like this. I wasn't even thinking. Fui, fui, di, vine, tuve, hice, puse, estuve, hice, puse, supe, traje, tuve, di. That's how it goes. I mean, it's really simple, right? You can do it. I'll do it one more time, then you join me, all right? Fui, fui, di, vine, tuve, hice, puse, all right, that's it. You've got it. It's free, free, di, hevine. Tuve y se puse. Estuve, quise, pude, supe. Traje, anduve, ti. Now, this last part here, traje, anduve, kind of gets munched together a little bit. Traje, anduve, di. All right, you can do it. Join me this time. I got my hair's a little bit of a mess. Join me this time. All right, yeah. All right, now it's not bad for a guitarist, right? I mean, I didn't really sing too much. Mostly Robert Plant was our singer, but um, anyway, hey, thanks for inviting me um, to your course. Thanks for uh, listening to my song, and um, thanks for listening to my music and buying my albums and stuff because. Uh, you know, I really kind of need the money these days. Anyway, <clears throat> now I'm just going to turn it back over to Rory. Uh, thanks and uh, ciao. Oh, my goodness. Can you believe that, Jimmy Page? Oh, my. You know, he's been a friend forever. And uh, I just really appreciate how he likes to join and help out sometimes. So, anyway, I hope you like the song. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. Unos irregulares más that don't fit the patterns we've had so far. So, creer. Creí, creíste, creyó, creímos, and creyeron. Here's what we got going on. These top ones, 100% regular. 
But these third persons, the Eosted form and the Eos Aesosteus forms, those are the irregular conjugations. They've got a Y in them. In fact, all these are going to follow the same pattern. Leer, leí, leíste, leyó, leímos, and leyeron. Oír, oí, oíste, oyó, oímos, and oyeron. And then cayer, caí, caíste, cayó, caímos, and cayeron. Okay. That's all the irregulars and el preterito that we're going to look at today. Let's do some practica, por favor. Okay, make sure to go slow, put me on pause, take your time to be able to work out these answers so that you have a chance to do them and not just hear them passively, okay? All right, so cuando yo, cuando blank, la última vez que usted comer. So when was the last time that you, and we're saying ate here, but hey, this is a great sentence structure you could use for all sorts of clinical questions. When was the last time that you blank, right? Okay, so cuando, we need a past tense of ser and past tense of comer. Take a minute. Cuando fue la última vez que usted comió. Okay. La enfermera ponerle un catheter, so the nurse gave him a catheter or put in a catheter porque el paciente no controlar su orina, because the patient couldn't control his urine. So la enfermera, put me on pause, take your time. Le puso un catéter porque el paciente no pudo controlar su orina. El paciente andar los pasillos del piso para ejercicio. So the patient walked the halls of the floor for exercise. El paciente anduvo. La doctora venir tres veces hoy para conversar con su paciente, pero no decirle cuando van a darle el alta. So the doctor came three times today to talk about to talk with the patient, but didn't tell him or her um, cuando van a darle el alta, when they're going to discharge the patient. So la doctora vino tres veces, pero no le dijo, didn't tell him or her. Okay. And numero cinco, our last one. Nosotros saber el diagnóstico cuando el radiólogo confirmar. So we basically knew the diagnostic or the diagnosis. We found out the diagnosis when the radiologist confirmed, basically. Nosotros supimos el diagnóstico cuando el radiólogo confirmó, when the radiologist confirmed. Más práctica now. Okay, más práctica, no todos son irregulares. Let's keep going, okay? Remember, put me on pause if uh, you need more time. And by the way, while you've got me on pause, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, because that is how we are able to keep doing this week after week to help you with your medical Spanish for totally free. Okay, Juan. Juan, ir al departamento de emergencias anoche porque tener un accidente de carro. So Juan went to the ER last night because he had a car accident. Both of these are actually irregular this time. Juan fue al departamento de emergencias porque tuvo un accidente de carro. El chocar su carro, he crashed his car porque se le caer, so his, because his phone fell, e intentara recogerlo, and he tried to pick it up. Okay, all right, so el chocó su carro porque se le caer, se le, the phone is actually the subject here. Se le cayó, remember, it's got the Y in it. Se le cayó el teléfono, e, and he tried to pick it up. Intentó a recogerlo. La ambulancia, venir y los paramédicos ponerle un suero. Ambulance came, paramedics gave him an IV. La ambulancia vino y los paramédicos le pusieron un suero. Ellos preguntar, ¿qué pasó? So they asked him, what happened? Ellos le, so this preguntar is going to be in the ellos form. Ellos le preguntaron, ¿qué pasó? They asked him what happened. Juan, con vergüenza, Juan, ashamed, told them que mirar abajo, that he looked, he looked down to pick up his phone, y eso, and that was, Y eso ser cuando salir de la calle. And that was when he uh, ran off the road. Okay. Juan con vergüenza les dijo que 
miró para abajo, uh, miró abajo para recoger su teléfono y eso fue cuando salió de la calle. All right, last one here. Los paramédicos regañarlo, so they kind of like chewed him out, y llevarlo al departamento de emergencias, and they took him to the ER. So, los paramédicos regañarlo. If you're like, what's going on with these lows and lays? Here's what's happening. The lows and lays refer to uh, who's receiving the action of the verb. And so they're saying they chewed him out. And so if you see the pattern here, we've got the lay or lace, and the low is all going to come before the verb. Okay? So low and then regañar. Lo regañaron. Y, now we've got another one, llevar, lo, al departamento de emergencias. And so they took him to the ER. Lo llevaron. Lo llevaron al departamento de emergencias. Okay, para conversar con su compañero, talk about something that happened this past week, this past month, this last year, etc. Same conversation prompt as I gave you last week. Piensa en un paciente muy interesante. ¿Por qué es tan interesante? ¿Qué pasó durante tus interacciones? ¿Qué resultado tuvo ella? We're imagining you had a female patient here now. And ¿qué pasó durante tu primer mes o año de residencia? Or how about clinicas if you were not a physician, didn't go through residency, any other clinics uh, que ahora parece gracioso. All right, preguntas. Post them below in the comments section. If you need a conversation partner, head over to the Facebook uh, Learning Medical Spanish Facebook group, and we'll be happy to um, help you find a conversation partner. Just put yourself out there and say, hey, I'm working on practicing my past tenses. Who wants to practice with me? All right, amigos, gracias por aprender español conmigo juntos. Mejoramos comunidades para más español. Make sure you poke around on the Common Ground International website. And if you want to take a medical Spanish terminology test, you can head over to Certified Spanish and get a free account and take as many free medical Spanish tests, terminology tests as you would like. Thanks for liking and subscribing to this video. That way we can keep producing more and more uh, good free learning videos for you to improve your medical Spanish. Ciao, amigos.